Tears and tributes have flowed in Parliament for the late Bob Such as the by-election battle in his seat of Fisher intensifies. The Liberals will finally pick their candidate for the southern suburbs poll tonight. Political reporter Tom Richardson is at the ballot and joins us now. Tom, what's the latest there? Kate, the ballot to pick the candidate the opposition hopes will return the southern suburbs seat to the Liberals for the first time since the late Dr Bob Such quit the party will be held here at Seeds Uniting Church at Befoyle Park in around half an hour or so. Now the front runner is teacher Helen Ronson though party insiders tell me one time elder candidate Heidi Harris could cause an upset. Now the seat's up for grabs of course after Dr Such lost his battle with a brain tumour this month. He was fondly remembered in Parliament today with his wife Lynn looking on. I'd just like to speak on the dedication and the great um, friendship that I had with Bob both for a short period of time. The outpouring of grief uh, that followed Bob's death um, uh, reflects, uh, I think, uh, his life and work. Uh, he was deeply mourned by the constituents. And those constituents must now elect a new local member. And Labor's hit the ground running after they pre-selected a high-profile campaigner, Nat Cook, last week. A new Morgan poll also gives the party hope for an upset, showing Labor jumping three points to a commanding two-party statewide vote of 52.5, a five-point lead over the Liberals. Jay Weatherall's personal popularity has also soared more than six points to easily lead Stephen Marshall as preferred Premier. Labor's vote growing despite growing unrest over emergency services levy increase and water pricing. So uh, bad signs then for the Liberal leader ahead of a crucial by-election.